Welcome back to part two of getting information from the graph. I've taken the liberty to list all the different pieces of information that we are going to need to find from this function. The function we're using is x to the fourth minus 5x to the third minus 4x squared plus 20x. Since we need to use our calculator for this because it's not obvious what this would look like, we do need to use the window given. I'm going to pull up a calculator and from the home screen, which is just blank, click Y equals and clear anything that might be there already. Then enter x raised to the fourth arrow out of the exponent if you need to. Some calculators will make you arrow over to the right and some won't. Minus 5x to the third minus 4x to the second plus 20x. So there's your graph or your function that you're going to graph. Now we need to change the window. So the window button is up here right next to the y equals button. When you click that you can see how there's an x min and an x max and then a scale and then a y min, y max, and a scale. Let's leave the scale at 1 for now but let's start with the negative 5 to 8. You have to put a negative sign in here, not a subtraction sign. Now, in the real world, there's not much of a difference between a negative sign and a subtraction sign, but on your TI, for some reason, they give you both. So you need to put a negative sign. It's this button down by the enter sign, and it's in parentheses. So if you do not use that negative, your window will have errors in it and it won't graph it properly. So negative 5, then 8. Skip the scale because we just want notches every one unit. Our y min should be from negative 55 to a max of 20. Apparently I pushed 55 too many times. Let's delete one of those. Once you've set up your window and you've entered your function into the y equals menu, hit the graph button, which is at the top right corner of your calculator. And you get this kind of sloppy looking W. I'm going to really quickly sketch a graph of what this would look like. Now we need to find where this function is increasing. I'm going to use blue to define the interval just by looking at this. I don't even need points yet. But I can see that the function is increasing from right about here to the left of zero all the way through zero and stops wherever this high, this local ma maximum is and then it decreases for a while, crosses the x-axis, has a universal minimum, and then it is increasing again. So we'll mark from that minimum, that universal minimum, off to positive infinity. So just by really quickly sketching a graph, I can identify the increasing intervals just by looking at it. Now the problem is I don't know what these points are at the local min, local max, universal min, and so I need to find those points so that I can then identify my intervals for increasing and decreasing. We're going to do that with the calculator. Select second calc and we need to find the minimum. We're going to find this first minimum to the far left. So I arrow down to minimum and hit enter. Now notice that I have this little X with a hole in it that's blinking at me. 
I need to arrow as far over as I can so that I cross the lowest point because the question the calculator is asking me is where are you going to start calculating the left bound on your minimum? So I have to go to the left of the minimum I'm curious about, then click enter, and see how it's set up a little arrow? Now it's going to ask me where the right bound is. So I'm going to arrow to the right until I've passed the minimum and I hit enter again. Now it wants me to guess where the minimum actually is. Now I have two arrows saying I've bounded where this minimum value will be. So I'm just going to arrow down until it looks like my cursor is pretty close to the minimum. When I hit enter for the last time, it gives me a minimum value to six decimal places. The question asks us to give the rounded values to the nearest whole number. So when I label this minimum, it's going to be at negative 1, negative 19. Now let's find this maximum, the second interesting point on our graph. We will go to second, calc, maximum, enter. It wants a left bound. So I'm going to arrow as close to this as I think I can get without causing errors with like the um, pixelation on the calculator. Hit enter. Now it wants me to go to the right of the maximum. And I hit enter again. And then it wants me to guess at the maximum. And I hit enter again. I am going to round these to whole digits. And so my maximum coordinate point is 112. And now I'm curious about this last minimum. This is going to be my universal minimum because if you look at this graph, it is the very lowest point. Second, calc, minimum. I have to arrow down to three, which is the minimum. I need to find a left bound, so I'm going to get fairly close to this minimum. Hit enter. Now it wants me to find a right bound. Arrow to the right of the minimum. Hit enter again. Now guess. That's about where I would expect it to be. Hit enter one last time. And my minimum is at 3.935 and negative 48.12. If I round these to the nearest whole number, my universal minimum will be at, at 4, negative 48. For my increasing interval, I can say that it is between negative 1 and 1. And also from 4 to infinity. And it's decreasing on the other intervals, which makes it nice because you can just plug in the values for the other parts that we didn't highlight. I'll go ahead and highlight them anyway in yellow here. These are the intervals that are decreasing. That will be from negative infinity to negative 1, union 1 to 4. My domain is from negative infinity to infinity because there are no restrictions on this domain. There are no fractions in the denominator with variables in the denominator, and there are no radicals. The range will be from the very lowest point that the graph exists, which is at negative 48, and we include that endpoint, all the way to positive infinity, because you can assume that this graph continues upwards on both sides. My local maximum, this is at 112. Notice that the graph keeps continuing upwards, but for this interval, the interval we are looking at, the local maximum is at 112. The local minimum would be 
at negative 1, negative 19. But there is a lower point that is also on this function. The universal min is at 4, negative 48, because it is the lowest point overall, not just at this given interval over here on the left. And there is no universal max, so we would say does not exist, or DNE.